Welcome beautiful people, I am Chef B. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you are subscribed down below. So for today's video, we're about to install this hair from ashimarihair.com and I just wanna show you guys what I got in my package that you can get on the website as well. So the hair that we'll be installing today is their new Invisi Strap 360 transparent lace so this wig is pre-plucked it's pre-bleached all that good stuff done for you this is their water wave hair and i got it in 26 inches and i'm just doing a shed test i didn't experience any shedding with this hair but look at this lace look at this lace like, you can definitely wear this wig glueless it is giving very much versatile and also this is the invisible strap in the back that's gonna be tightened so that you can actually wear this wig as a 360, you can do a bun, a top knot, all that good stuff with this wig because it is super snug feel. So I washed the hair and now I'm just going to put the hair in the, di the direction that I want, meaning I'm going to mold the hair how I would like. So we're using this mousse. It has all that good stuff in there. It's rich with argan oil and I'm just going to apply that to the hair while it is still wet because I want my curls to be defined. So this is the hair once it, once it is fully dried. I just let it air dry and then I'm going to take a little bit of this olive oil and just put it on there. And look at me raking my fingers through this hair. And do y'all see this, the definition that is still in the hair even though I'm like rough housing this hair right now. But it is defined. The curls are absolutely stunning and I'm loving the volume. So right now even though it's pre-plugged and pre-bleached. I needed to match my complexion a little bit more so I need it to be darker so I'm gonna be using this lace tint mousse and I'm just gonna rake it all over I've been using this lace tint mousse for my last couple of wigs and love 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 it takes it takes the place of me using bronzer or makeup on the lace itself and look how look how chocolatey that lace is just beautiful so throughout this video you're gonna see me adjusting this strap in the back just to make sure that everything is snug okay so like look how look how tight that is so this is my hair yes girl i need a rebraid like babes so it is time to take these braids out but we're gonna wear it because one thing with curly hair it's not gonna show how high your hair is and i love that so if you're not really true to braiding you're not that good of a braider curly hair got you okay it won't forsake you so i'm just gonna take some ebi and um is this ebi in or is this edge booster? This is an edge booster, child. And I was going to swoop my edges back out of the way, especially if I wanted to wear this wig glueless. Like, I don't need my ginger hair showing underneath my lace, okay? And then I'm going to wear this wig cap because I want my hair color to be hidden. Because sometimes, because of how transparent these lace are, you can see it through the lace. So I want to make sure that that is hidden, Okay. So I'm just going to adjust the wig. One thing with my hairline and also my head, I got a P-shaped type head. So even when I wear 360 type wigs, like I need major adjustment because the knob of my head is super small and then it's just hard to explain. Yeah. So I have to adjust this wig, making sure that everything fits customized to me. So first things first, I cut the side so make sure that it lies around my um, hairline and also making sure that my ears are out and not under the wig. And then I adjust the invisible strap in the back just to tighten the nap a bit. Then we're going to go in with this EBIN lace melt. Love it. This thing is super sticky without making you feel like your edges are about to rip off. Like, you know, that is not my ministry to use any type of harsh glues or gels on my hair. But this, it is sticky without being abusive to my edges. And I love that. So I just spray it under my lace and then I use the um, blow dryer just to melt that in. 
I would have worn this wig glueless, but it doesn't like it's not super customized to my head size. Like I said, I got an interesting shape head. So um, yeah, we, we need to, to just stick that down a bit. And then use my hot comb, not all the way through, just to make it a little bit flat in the front. And we're gonna leave that lace to melt a bit while we customize the party. Now, once that's dry down, this is how the hair is looking like. I didn't even want to do no baby hair. I didn't want to swoop the hair all the way back because the curliness in the front is just doing it for me. And I don't even want to mess with that because it looks so natural. So I used a little bit of EVI and mousse. And I'm just going to mold the hair going back. Like, I am in love with this curly hair. It suits my face so well. It is giving bounce. It is giving shine. It is giving everything and i love this mousse because the hair stays in place without being crunchy it's actually supposed to be used on lace but i use it on my curly hair and love it then i'm gonna go in with some bronzing bronzing powder just to clean up my parting space a bit and that is what i'm gonna do for the finishing touches and that is it like this this wig was so easy to install and it was super quick now this is the final look y'all she is too cute she's too beautiful the volume in this wig i didn't experience any shedding at all all the bones the shine everything let me know what you think about this unit all the details will be down below for you yeah i'm trying to test out and make y'all see how secured that is and just because this is a 360 i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like if you were to put it up again remember i had to customize it a bit because the nap of my head is so small so I'm just going to do like a claw clip type of look, like a a high, this is not a bun, this is a high look with like a claw clip look. And then with a little side situation going on, I don't even know what the girlies call this style, but this is what it's looking like and it is too, too cute. Love it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All the details again will be in the description box. Follow me on it, all major social media platforms at damn that's chef and i'll see y'all in my next video go on big up in itself bye guys